Virgos, welcome. This is the Empress. I'm so happy to have you guys here with me today. Right now, we're going to take a look into what messages do we have for the month of March. It's going to be your March reading, March 2019. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and um, Venus signs Virgo. If this message does not resonate, don't forget to check your Moon, Rising, and your Venus uh, reads, okay? There may be a message for you there. And as well, these uh, messages can be vice versa. This could be you feeling this way, or it could be your partner feeling this way. Okay, so let's see. Let's hop into it. What messages do we have for Virgo for the month of March 2019? All right, let's hop into it. Virgos, okay, bottom of the deck, Virgos, we have Page of Wands, okay, so there is communication here, okay, some truth, someone is wanting to speak their truth, someone's been waiting for someone to tell the truth about something, and we have the Hermit card here, so this is you guys' energy, we have Queen of Cups, some of you guys could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, we also have King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Someone could be cutting someone out or someone is very, very sharp with their communication. Okay, but definitely someone here is waiting for somebody to speak their truth. All right, so let's see. And the first card is the Tower, guys. King of Cups and a Star card. Okay. <laughs> this is weird, really weird okay let me pull another one just get a little bit more Virgos the first card we have is tower so some of you guys could be dealing with the Scorpio but this is something that is um, happening out of the blue something possibly that you weren't expecting um, the challenge being the king of cups, maybe it's something emotionally, um, emotional wise, um, or there is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved. I feel like, um, there could be an Aquarius involved as well too, but we have the star card here and there's hope or something coming to the light here with this page of swords. This is definitely possibly like some spying or some gossiping going on. We got the Knight of, Pen Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy. So it's like hoping that somebody sees you or hoping that someone says something. I'm going to have to clarify this tower card because I'm, I'm interested. I'm curious. Why is the tower here? We got a six of cups. So this is about something from the past, okay? Maybe some of you guys were trying to dodge something from the past. We got the Knight of Swords, which is back and forth um, energy coming in and leaving out quickly. Um, something here about the past. Maybe some of you guys were dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Why is the King of Cups here? Yeah, we got the Two of Cups. So maybe the challenge here is definitely a new start in a relationship. Stability. Okay, something here about stability. Definitely stability. Money. We got the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, Ace of Wands. And a ten of coin, the Ten of Pentacles. So maybe some of you guys are, um, I'm getting really focused on your career and your finances. But someone is definitely emotional here. Someone is emotional. And it's a bond that you have with somebody. It's an emotional bond. It's an emotional tie here. Um, past energy. We got the Nine of Cups. So... The Nine of Cups is saying that there was a wish fulfillment or something that you desired. 
Um, but I'm, I'm sensing that there was constant uh, letdowns or there has just been like, you guys have been feeling like there's a, a dark cloud over your head here with this five of pentacles. Um, possibly like feeling left out in the cold or rejected or there was just like constant um, disappointments with this five of pentacles and it's two of pentacles. So there's possibly like a decision that needed to be made and it possibly was in regards to finances or feelings of um, rejection in a sense. Maybe some of you guys were having financial issues. I feel like right now your guard is up, okay? Um, there's some worry here about some conflict. You got the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Five of Swords. So this is what's crowning you, okay? So I'm sensing like some of you guys are trying to avoid a disaster. Um, with that Tower card here and the Nine of Wands, that's like the Nine of Wands is when you're on guard. Okay, the tower moment is when something just, just falls apart and it's possibly something that wasn't expected. Something hit, you know, like unexpectedly. So this is some unexpected. And it has something to do with the past. Something that you weren't expecting. And it's either some, some anxiety here. Because we got the nine of swords. And we got that five of swords. The five of swords is, you know, a little bit of conflict. Future energy, we got the queen of wands. Fire energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But I'm getting the devil card and the four of cups. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this four of cups is telling me that somebody is not happy. Someone is disappointed. And maybe someone is codependent or deciding that they don't want to be codependent. Or deciding um, that they don't want to be tied into um, a toxic situation here. But definitely someone is not very interested. Okay. Okay, we got the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands... Is creative energy, sexual energy, as well as like a new start. Someone doesn't isn't interested in starting, isn't interested in a new start. Because obviously there's still some conflict lingering around that needs to be worked out with this three of pentacles. It could involve a mother, could involve a baby mother, it could involve a third party, because we have the lovers and the empress card here. But definitely some conflict needs to be worked out, and somebody is deciding that they're not going to, they're not. They don't want a new start. I'm not sure if it's you guys or your or another party. But somebody does not want another start. Doesn't want to start start over because there's still some conflict that needs to be worked out. No message to be out of our goals. This is for March 2019, Virgos. March 2019. March 2019, Virgos. What message do we have for Virgos? Spirit is saying for some of you that it is safe for you to love, for you to open up your heart to someone. Um, some of you guys 
have been have decided that you want to take some time off or feeling like you need to disconnect from the world possibly like going on a little vacation um, i'm gonna be getting that for a lot of the readings here um we have heart to heart conversations so maybe there is a heart to heart conversation that needs to be had to honestly discuss your feelings with each other and it's definitely something from your past okay so your past is coming back in and I feel like they're wanting to have like a heart to heart conversation with you. Maybe take some time off um, to disconnect. But I'm definitely getting that. Okay, so we have pay attention to the red flags. We have religious factors and we also have true love. Okay, so for some of you guys, there is something that is cautioning you. Okay, there's something that you need to pay attention to. And I'm definitely feeling that, especially with that tower card there. Like something happened out of the blue or this is some type of red flag or some type of signal. Okay, a caution. So there's definitely something that needs to be paid attention to. Now we also have religious factors. Okay, so your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. So some for some of you guys, um, whether it be spiritual or religious, some of you guys are putting that to the forefront of your love life you're doing things by um either the book or you're doing things um handling your love life spiritually and we also have true love okay so this is the romance of a lifetime so you're feeling like this someone is your true love okay so these are going to be your messages that i have for the month of march uh, I want to tell you guys, just like I'm saying on all the other uh, videos, if you're dealing with a Pisces, being that it is Pisces season, and I'm a Pisces, I want to do this something special for my Pisces. So if you're dealing with a Pisces and you would like to book your very own personal reading with me, um, there will be certain discounts. So you can contact me. That information is going to be in the drop box below, and I'll be happy to get you guys set up. We're going to get you at a discounted rate, okay? Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in with me and I will see you guys next time. Ciao for now.